So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do a very basic AR effect. In this case, we'll be using this Lacy add uh, as our basis, and we'll be adding a 3D model of the specific hard drive um, that they are actually uh, showing in this ad here. So to do this, you'll actually need one of the newest versions of Unity. So in this case, 2017.2 is the version that integrates Vuforia into the program. Right now, I've just started a simple 3D scene, so you can just go ahead and start a new project. So we'll have to go to Vuforia's page first to get a developer account. So as soon as you are on Vuforia.com, you can click the dev portal, which will lead you to developer.vuforia.com, and you'll have to either register or log in. So I'll just log in fairly quickly here. As soon as you're logged in, you have your license manager uh, where we'll have to set up a license. So get a development key, add an app name, so AR tutorials. So these license keys are free of charge. You don't have to pay for them. However, if you want to use them commercially or for something like a bigger project, you'll have to find the pricing uh, on Vuforia's page. So confirm. So now I have my license key, which is this huge chunk of text here. So we can go back into Unity. So inside of Unity, we'll take our main camera and we will delete it. Now we can right click the hierarchy and we can go down to Vuforia and choose AR camera. This will prompt you to import the entire asset pack from Vuforia, so import. So as soon as this one is imported, we'll have to check some settings inside of Unity itself because Vuforia is not enabled. So we'll have to go into the settings and modify this. So go to edit, project settings and go to player. In the inspector window over here, you should then scroll down to the bottom. We have the XR settings. Here you can activate Vuforia Augmented Reality. If you want to build this to an Android device um, or to an iOS device, you'll have to go into the respective categories. So in this case, I only have Android support. And you'll also have to check the exact same check mark here. And you would also have to go to other settings, scroll down. You would have to rename the company if you want to do a build afterwards. So I'll just write my company and my product just to change these up. Then you'll have to set the device filter down here to the ARM version 7 and you'll have to uncheck Android TV. This will make Vuforia compatible with Android devices that you are building too. Next up, click the AR camera. You should now not see a warning in the Vuforia behavior setup here. If you click the open Vuforia configuration button, you're able to paste your license key. Go back to the website, select the entire license key, copy it back into Unity with the app license and paste it there. So now it'll be able to load assets from the page and it'll also be able to run on your devices. So right now we have our AR camera, but we don't have anything to track yet. So this is where we'll have to set up a database or a target in a specific database. So back to the Vuforia page, go to the target manager and now click add database, give it a name and choose device create. Now click the database and inside of this menu here, we need to add a target. So click add target. We have different things that we can add. So single image, cuboid, cylinder, and a 3D object. We will focus on single image uh, today. So what we need to do is we can either browse for a uh, file or we can drag and drop the file that we want. So in this case, you'll need an image, either JPEG or PNG. But the main thing regarding this target is that it needs to have a very unique uh, type of signature. So no repetitive patterns, no like big blank surfaces that won't be able to track. Then we have to set up a width. This is the width in scene units within Unity. So in this case, we'll just hit five and we'll have to give it a name. So in this case, lazy target. Add. It will give me a rating depending on how well uh, of a tracking our image will produce. So if you click the database itself or the target itself, you can open it up and you can actually down here, click show features. It'll show you the specific tracking points that it has found within your image. Okay, let's go back. Now let's download the database. So download database all, and we'll choose the Unity editor, download. So save it to your computer. And now let's go back into Unity. So inside of Unity, we will drag and drop our package to the project field. It'll prompt us. So what do we want to import? Well, we want to import everything, so import. So now let's set up the target. So if we right click the hierarchy, we go to Vuforia again and we choose image. It will automatically load the standard assets that come with the package. But if we go to the database up here and we choose the drop down AR tut and we actually have the image target, lazy target, it'll be loaded into my scene so I can already see it here. However, it'll still not work because we actually have to activate this specific database. So we'll have to go into the uh, Vuforia configuration and there are different ways to go back in there. You can choose the AR camera 
and then open the Portfolio Configuration. You can also click it under Resources. This is also the configuration. And under Window, you also have the Bufuria configuration. But in here, we have the Load AR Tuts database. So we can activate that, activate it as well. And we can, of course, then also deactivate the other ones that we don't need. So now to actually have something to track onto that image, we'll have to make some 3D objects as children of the image target. So click the image target, right click it, and choose 3D object and create a cube. So rescale and reposition this cube. I'll just rotate it a bit so it looks a bit more fancy. And now you can test it with your webcam. So as soon as you hit play, you will open up the video stream and you can see that we have our cube tracked onto the tracking marker and even move it around. It tracks fairly well. So as you can see, it actually tracks fairly well uh, even on a very bad webcam that has a like below SD quality. So let's try to add a, a bit more interesting 3D object here. So I'll select my cube and I'll delete it. So I just went to an online 3D database and I found a lazy hard drive um, model. So I'll drag that into my project field and it'll be available here. So as you can see, it's the same hard drive as in the picture itself. So this one down here. So what I can do now is I can drag this into the image target. Again, I can rescale it and position it. And we can even move it outside of the tracking marker a bit. So again, if I now click play, you can see that it actually tracks fairly well to that tracking marker once again. Also again, if I start moving it around. So that's the basic setup of augmented reality using Vuforia. In the next tutorials, we'll look into more detailed things with these 3D models and this tracking. So thank you for watching.